So to me, you know, I, I'm happy. I'm happy that um, a lot more people are listening to my music now. You know, it's just what it is for me. It's just more people listening to my music now. And that has always been my prayer. I, I wanted a larger audience. I wanted my music to get to um, uh, a large, a, a huge number of people. And right now it is growing. People are listening to me um, more than before. So, you know, it has always just been me being happy that I'm getting um, the attention of um, a, lot, a lot more other people than usual mm. now. So, yeah, it's just thing for me. No, no extras, no... No, you know, it's just, I'm just glad how people are, more people are responding to my music. And that is it for me. And speaking of your music, we're going to be talking about, we're going to watch the video Lolo. And um, okay. we're going to break down some of the things that I watched in the video that are quite phenomenal, um, including a, a use of a person living with albinism, quite interesting choice of models and the style and the music and the video. But let me not talk about it. Let's watch the video. DJ E, who is also your big fan. Are you a fan of Omale? Yes, yes, yes. You're yes. a fan of Omale? Big fan. Okay. Omale, love don't bro, worry. This bro. one, when it's female artists, his energy is very different. <laughs> He'd be here vibing female artists. So understand him now. It's, it's normal. <laughs> Mad respect, though. <laughs> anyway, let's get to watch Lolo up, by uh, Omale. And also, we're going to be telling you uh, Omale. You need to Google yeah. as we speak what Lolo means in Kenya because it means something completely different. So just Google. When we come back, we, you will tell me what you think it means. And we are back with Omale. Omale, you are telling yeah. me girls that they are going to get laid, that you also love your girlfriend's friends. Shy. Are you this, are you this bad? Ay. Hey. <laughs> Come on, that is just a line. It, uh -uh. it doesn't mean that. That it doesn't mean that you know I, I'll do that for real. It's just a line, or maybe I might do it. I don't know. But you also say that uh, <laughs> just because I'm a good-looking boy, does not mean I'm good. I'm a bad boy. Are you a bad boy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, if, I don't know if, if I'm a bad boy. If if uh, if <laughs> if you end up falling in love with a Kenyan girl and she's to date you. What is the one thing you'll tell her uh, to be careful of when she's dating you? She should just she should just forgive you from the beginning of the relationship. What is that one thing? I'm not sure of anything. I'm not sure of anything if you have to date me. But, you know, I don't know. You know, we just flow. Whatever it is, I don't know. Whatever happens, but, happens. Let's talk yeah, about... Yeah, but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure of anything. I'm not sure of anything. Yes. So... Yeah, whatever happens, you know, just... Happens. We just go, yeah. Let's, let's talk about Lolo. Have you Googled what Lolo means in Kenya? Oh, I just checked it up. It means licking a lollipop. Uh -huh. So, does your song talk about the same thing? What does Lolo mean? <laughs> maybe maybe it's it's related, you know. Lolo uh -huh. means love, love. You know, I, I couldn't have said love, love. So, I said Lolo. You know, I just took the first uh, two letters of love. And, yeah, I made it Lolo. So... Yeah, you know, it could be it, Lolo in in some part of Nigeria, like, like for slangs, it, it means almost the same thing it means in um, in Kenya, the mm. licking a lollipop. So, yeah, here it is say, what it is. Here we say Lamba Lolo. Say Lamba Lolo. Lamba Lolo. Uh -huh, that's, <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> so, before we go to your amazing songwriting skills, let's talk about the video Lolo. Your choice. Take us through your choice of the models, the attire, uh, the lady, the beautiful model who's a lady living with albinism. Why did you choose for the video to look that particular way? Um, first of all, I want to give credit to Damit Switch. That was the director. He, he's the director of the video. Um, he came up with most of the ideas. Yeah, but when he showed it to me, it was amazing. It was really amazing. And I love the fact that, you know, um, he, he brought in the melanin, the albinism, and everything. I just loved it. So I'm giving this credit. I'm giving the credit to Damit, which he did the amazing work. He came up with the idea. You know, I just read the scripts and I executed it, and it was, and it is what it is today. So yeah, I'm giving it to Damit, which. Awesome. Your songwriting skills have also been considered to be 
really fresh for a young act. Um, how, how's your creative process like when you are working on the EP, for example? Did you cut off some songs? You know, how do you decide what to put? Do you have a team of people or are you just like this young genius? Oh well, yeah, I I have a team. I have a team, but you know, working on the EP, working on the EP, I worked with my team. I break out the songs and I, I brought them to the table, and we had to choose the song, the song why I like this song, who like who loves the song the most, and stuff like that. So that was how um we agreed and chose the songs on the EP. And yeah, working my work process while I was recording the EP, it was it was a very long time. I recorded a whole lot of songs, a bunch of songs. And these are the ones that we decided, I and my team decided to put out. Um, um, most times, my process when I work, like when I was recording Get Lead, I was off social media for a long time. You know, I was trying to get the message right and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's basically my process. I, I just record, write the song. Sometimes I make the beat because I'm a producer. Mm. So I make the beat. I, I, I made the beat for Lolo. I produced Lolo myself. I produced Lamba Lolo myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. So yeah. So yeah, I produced it myself. I wrote the song and you know, I recorded it. Yeah, it's just it's just it for me. That's just my process. Cool. Make the beat, record songs and I and I submit to my I bring to the table for, for my team to you know, look into it because you know I'm not I'm not like I'm not God, so I don't know all. So mm -hmm. when I do my part, and I just let my team talk too, so awesome. it is what it is. We're gonna get into mm -hmm. the fun bit of this um, interview, but as we talk about Get Laid, which by the way you guys can get off of every platform in the world. Make sure you go and get that EP called Get Laid. Um, let's finish with that by asking you who are some of the artists that you really wanna work with. Um, is there anyone who said no to you and you're disappointed? You're like, what? This, I, I, I was his fan. How can he say no? I, I'm, I'm shocked. Is there anyone that you want to work with who said no to you? And uh, who are some of the artists that you really want to work with um, in the future? Okay. Um, I, want, I want a record with Post Malone. Mm -hmm. And I, I want a record with Ross. I, I, want, I would want a record with Rihanna. I would want a record with Drake. Yeah, so these are basically like the people that I have listened to the music while coming up, growing up, and all and all that. So I love their music a lot; it touches me. So yeah, and um, as for people that turned me down, not not I, I wouldn't say not not a lot of people, not not so many people that I could mention. But um, so far it has all been love since I came up. It has all been love since I dropped you. It has everybody showed me love. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of my favorite celebrities, they reached out to me on social media and encouraged me, like Olamide, you know. Olamide reached out and encouraged me for hours. You know, like most of my favorite celebrities. So yeah, it has all been love for me so far. And mm. um, yeah, I just keep going. Good stuff. Mm. So now it's time to get into the fun bit of the conversation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm good. Are you yeah, a football really. fan? Are you a football fan? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. I, I'm not, I'm not okay, football, if you were to choose, if you were to, if, even if you're not, if you were to choose a football fan to support between Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Chelsea. Liverpool, 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 Liverpool. You choose Liverpool. I don't, yeah, I don't want to think it twice. Why would, you, why would you just, why would you choose Liverpool? I mean, you, I think, you do I such good I, music. I, why bad choices like this? I don't know if it's a bad choice, but you know, my dad growing up, my dad was a Liverpool fan. He always, he always, you know, and I enjoyed Liverpool growing up. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not so much of a football person, but yeah. I just love Liverpool. Okay. I love Liverpool. You will never walk, me up, you'll, you'll never walk alone. Speaking of you'll never walk alone, you're actually walking alone. Uh, from what we hear, you're dreaming alone, you're sleeping alone. We need to get you a female celebrity a person who you can hook up with. So this segment is called Smash or Pass. And all you gotta do is tell me which of these celebrities you would smash or pass. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, number one, see me, smash or pass. Oh, see me and a dick when they good. Come on. I'll just, I'll pass. I'll pass. Uh -uh, it will be an entanglement. I mean, there's nothing wrong with entanglement. You just... 
You no, not lie, but I just I was just pass. I was you just wait, pass. just maybe wait for. You can't wait okay. for you can't wait for August the month and then maybe you just try and. No, 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 no! I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, can't okay. <laughs> Coming up right about now, DJ Cappy, DJ Cappy, smash or pass? Smash, smash, yes, yeah, smash. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. DJ Cappy's sister, smash or pass? Smash. Okay, Yemi Alade, smash or pass? Smash. Tiwa Savage, smash or pass? Smash. Victoria smash, Kimani, smash. Victoria Kimani, smash, smash or pass? Smash, smash, smash. Eh, eh, eh. You, you're just, you're smashing every, is there anyone you don't want to smash? Ay, my friend, can you go slow? What is wrong? I don't, I don't have no time to go slow, I just smash. And this is the most important question on uh, this side of, uh, you actually your side of the Sahara, between Nigerian Jollof and Ghanaian Jollof. Nigerian Which is the best? Ghanaian Jollof? Oh, Ghanaian Jollof. You know, I've heard so much about Ghanaian Jollof. I don't know. I, I never tried it. So, no, I'll just stick to the one that I know so much Nigerian Jollof. Because I never tried Ghanaian Ghana Jollof. So, maybe someday when I try it, I could really. You'll know. Yeah, no. Cool. We're going to end uh, this conversation by allowing you to speak to your fans and especially that young. It's just what it is. So don't stop. Just keep going. That's what's up. Love. We're going to end again this conversation by saying Lamba. Lamba Lolo. That's what's up. <laughs> and that is one and only Omale, a.k.a. Mr. Get Laid. Mr. Will Take Away Your Girlfriend. Your wife will love him and they will elope and you will never see them again. But he's an absolutely amazing artist from Nigeria doing great big things. And with his age, what stops you from being able to achieve anything you want to be? Remember, he came from a very small far town of uh, Port Harcourt, all the way to Lagos, and now taking over the world. Once again, Mr. Omale, thank you so much for honoring this amazing, amazing interview, and God bless you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having me. I love you guys. I love you, Kenya. Much love. And uh, reply to those Kenyan girls' DMs, please. No, no, no. I'll definitely see you guys. I'll, I'll, I'm coming. I'm coming to Kenya real soon. You know, uh, when this whole thing is over, uh -huh. I'm coming to see you girls.